There's a number of different reasons why people are at increased risk once they've had an ACL injury. Firstly, it can relate to the amount of damage that occurs at the time of the injury. So there's also damage not just to the ligament, but to the bone, to the meniscus or the cartilage as well. There's a lot of inflammation that's going on and all of that can set up sort of de degradative processes in the joint and lead to structural damage. Also, when you damage your ligament, you change the way the joint works. And so you change the contact positions of the joint so that now you're loading areas of cartilage that previously weren't loaded and that aren't used to being loaded. And so you're overloading these cartilage areas and setting up again some degradation of that cartilage. And then other reasons are that it changes the way people walk. So people have different movement patterns, which changes the load again that's going through the joint. It changes people's uh, muscular support, all of which can increase loads across the joint and lead to structural damage over time. But there is some suggestion, perhaps a trend toward an increased risk if you have your knee reconstructed, which is a bit counterintuitive to what people might think. People might think that if you have the ligament reconstructed and you restore stability to the joint, then that maybe would reduce your risk of osteoarthritis. But in fact, some of the studies show perhaps a trend toward the opposite, where you have an increased risk of having osteoarthritis once you've had the ligament reconstructed versus having conservative management. And it may relate not to the surgery per se, but to the fact that once you've had your knee reconstructed, it allows you to go back to high impact sport, vigorous sport. It allows you to load your knee to a much greater extent. Whereas if you don't have the surgery and you just undergo sort of conservative management, you probably modify your activity and you choose sports or activities that are at much lower loading of the joint. So you might modify your activity and swim and walk and cycle, which would produce less load on the joint and perhaps then protect you against developing osteoarthritis. But there needs to be more research in that area. There's a lot of interest around uh, biologic therapies and really uh, addressing the issues early on once the joint's damaged, rather than waiting down the track where you're already getting these structural changes, that's probably too late. There's a lot of interest now on getting in there before a lot of the structural damage occurs. And we know that when you damage the, the, the ligament, there's a lot of inflammation that goes on, a lot of uh, these chemicals that really are bad for the joint. And so there is a lot of interest in different uh, drugs, different biologic agents such as platelet-rich plasma, stem cells, but at this stage unfortunately there's not a lot of evidence to support them so there needs to be further research into whether they may be potential therapies. I think there's a lot of um, interest certainly and, and, and some good scientific rationale as to why, why they might work but just we need the evidence to support that.